All right, what's up, it's Nick. I'm gonna walk you through this quick five-step process, how you can get three to five exclusive mortgage leads every single day without paying for any of these Zillow contracts or without even having to suck up to realtors. All right, so I'm gonna walk you right through this process. So the first thing you have to do is you have to select an audience, right? You have to know who are you gonna be marketing to with the ads that you're gonna create, okay? So if you're gonna go out there and you're gonna create ads, we have to decide who do you want to market to. So some examples are like people that are renting right now, uh, people that have just recently moved uh, to a new city, right, to your city. People that are in specific industries, for example, we can target people that are in the nursing field or people that are um, in the legal field or people that are in the IT field or uh, military veterans, right? We can also target engaged couples or on the flip side, you can target people that are getting a divorce. So before you can create an ad, you have to know who you're gonna target. So you know these are obviously just some examples. There's others that you might decide that you wanna target yourself, but hopefully these will give you an idea of some of the audiences that are available inside of Facebook ads that you can create um, ads to really, really easily. So once you decide who you're gonna target with your audience, then, the second step is that you have to pick an offer, right? You have to decide, okay, what am I gonna market to this person? So, for example, here's a few different kind of offers that you could create. You could take a house that's coming soon on the market and you could use that as bait, right? So somebody can give you their information, they can see photos, they can get information about the house before it uh, becomes available inside of the MLS. You could also create a special deal, right? So. You know, sometimes a special deal doesn't mean the same thing to you as a loan officer as it means to a home buyer, right? To you as a loan officer, a special deal means, you know, maybe they're getting a rebate or money back or some kind of actual special thing. But to them as a home buyer, a special deal could be the difference between qualifying for an FHA loan versus qualifying for a conventional loan. Right, so for them a special deal could be the fact that they only have to put down a three and a half percent down payment and not a 10% or 20% down payment. So sometimes you can create special deals that are special to the buyer, even if they don't feel as special to you as a loan officer. You can cr also create a list of homes or you could promote a specific program, right? So something like the VA program, or if you're in an area where USDA is available, you can always promote that. People love getting into houses for zero down payment. Um, and then on the list of homes, you can create all kinds of different lists available. You can create lists based on great deals. You can create lists within a specific price range or lists that have specific features, right? Horse properties, golf properties, condos, bachelor pads. There's a lot of different lists that you can create. So just let your mind kind of go wild with what's possible within, you know, what capabilities you have to create those lists. All right, once you have an audience and you pick an offer, you have to make a landing page or you have to have somewhere to capture their information. Now, Facebook does offer lead forms at this point, but I still find that we get better conversions and better information when people are going to an outside landing page. So here's some options. I prefer to use Instapage. If you're gonna get an Instapage account, go through my link right here, salesclubhouse.com slash Instapage. I get a little money every month off of that, right? Like a little commission. But I'm only promoting Instapage because I use it and I believe in it. And it's what we use for about 75% of the leads that we generate today, we're using through Instapage. There's other landing page options out there, right? Like lead pages, click funnels, lead pops, there's others that are out there, and of course, there's even old school forms, right? Like JotForm or Wufu. I even see some people still using those kind of things. But I prefer to use Instapage. They make it really easy to duplicate pages, and I just found that the conversions are high uh, when I use Instapage. Once you have your landing page, okay, the next thing is going to actually be to launch your ad, right? So the way you're going to do that is you go to Facebook.com slash ads slash manager now depending on if you've made ads before or if you haven't yours could look a little different than the next person's right but Facebook does a really good job of walking you through that process 
you're probably asking, okay, where can I get photos to use for my ad? Especially if you're not promoting a specific property, then you may not want to use a listing photo, right? You may want to use some other type of photo. So two options that I want to share with you. One is when you're inside the ads manager and you're creating your Facebook ad, they have an option to go in for stock photos. Okay, so if you're gonna use a single image or a carousel, Facebook has a button that says stock photos and they've partnered up with some stock photo company and you can use their pictures for free. So that's really cool because usually those kind of photos would cost you know a dollar or two or three dollars a piece. So every time you want to go get a new ad, you'd have to get that photo and it gets kind of expensive. Another resource that I really like a lot because all the photos are free is unsplash.com. They post up new photos every single week and they're all really cool photos. So you just never know what you're gonna find in there. You can just browse their photo library or you can search by keyword as well. So you can always find what you're looking for on Unsplash or the stock photos. And then in terms of your budget, how much should you budget per day to get three to five leads a day? I'm judging that, that you're gonna get three to five leads a day based on spending 10 or $15 a day, right? So you can spend anywhere from $5 to $20 a day on Facebook ads and get yourself plenty of business and people to talk to, um, either that wanna buy a house or that wanna refinance a house or maybe even somebody that wants to sell that you can refer off to one of your realtor partners. So typically with our agency clients or people inside of my private program, I recommend spending $15 a day. And spending $15 a day is gonna keep your budget under $500 a month, and you're gonna get somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 leads per month um, uh, for that kind of a budget. So once you had your ad launched, right, the, everybody knows that the fortune is in the follow-up. So you have to have some kind of way to capture those leads and then follow up with them, have some kind of follow-up system in place because the truth is that up front, you're only going to convert 5 to 8% of these internet leads into right now, you know, ready, willing, and able home buyers or refinance clients. So there's going to be a big portion, let's say 90 out of 100 people are going to go into your database and you're going to need to cultivate that relationship. So number one, you want to make sure that you have some kind of a CRM, right? Now I use Active Campaign. It's a very simple CRM. Uh, but it is the one that I use. And of course, there's tons of options out there that people are using. The reason that you want to have a CRM is because you can have it set up so where when somebody comes into your list, they opt into one of your Facebook ads, you can have an automatic email and an automatic text message go out to help create an appointment, right? So I like to use an online appointment calendar so that people can schedule appointments with you. That way you're not just cold calling people randomly you know, whenever you feel like calling them, but you can actually have a set appointment with that person and it's really made an impact on our conversions. So having them go into a CRM allows you to set up those automated emails and automated texts so you can set the appointment, but then also it will make it easy on you to send out weekly emails, okay? So a lot of people are big into using these automatic drips and that kind of stuff, and I prefer to send a live weekly email in a process that we call the email bomb. So we have eight samples of that, of our email process. We have eight different samples so that we try to make it easy on people to send the weekly email, but essentially you just wanna hook them in with a cool story, transition to why that it matters to them or what you can do for the person reading the email and then make them an offer, right? Is uh, basically the gist of what we're doing there. And we found that those weekly emails are making a big impact on our conversion rate as well. So we're able to take not only and get the 5 to 8% of the people up front, but we're able to convert out a lot more people on the back end with our weekly emails. And finally, I have USPS written here in my totally crazy chicken scratch because I wanted to remember to say, like, if you get their address, send them a thank you card, right? Send them something in the mail. Send them a handwritten thank you note. Nobody is sending out anything in the mail, and the mailbox is completely empty these days, and so if you send a thank you note, especially a handwritten note, you're gonna really stand out in a prospect's mind, and it's something that's gonna help to build that, you know, the fact that they know, like, and trust you and wanna work with you as their loan officer when that time comes. So just remember that you can use that power of the mail. 
And finally, you know, if you want help implementing this five-part system, we actually have six different campaigns that use this same five-step process, but we have six different ways to generate leads for you, exclusive leads, mortgage leads on Facebook. So if you're interested in that kind of thing and you want to learn the agent attraction system so you can attract an additional 10 referral partners uh, above and beyond what you have already, plus just tighten those relationships that you have, right? So if you already have 10 partners, then maybe five of them are sending you a bunch of deals, five of them send you some stuff. We can pull those other five in a little closer and uh, make sure that you're getting more things from them. So my group is called the Legion of Loan Officers. There's basically three different pieces that come with that. Training, kind of like what you're watching today. We're gonna show you exactly what to do step by step, paint by numbers to launch Facebook ads, run live events for realtors, um, get your videos number one on YouTube, right? We have multiple training products inside of our program. We're also gonna give you all the templates. So like I mentioned Instapage, for example. You just, if you join my program, you get all my Instapage templates. So you don't have to go out and recreate the wheel and spend 20 or 30 hours building out all of these pieces so you can run Facebook ads because you can simply download my template, upload it into your account, and you're good to go, right, in five minutes. And lastly, support and mentorship. And obviously you can see spelling isn't that important, right? But support and mentorship, we have a secret Facebook group. We have weekly group calls where we can screen share and we can help you one-on-one -on -one with anything that you need help with. If that sounds like something you want to be a part of and you want to join other loan officers across the country in the Legion of Loan Officers, give us a look. Check us out online, legionofloanofficers.com. You can apply and you'll either talk to me, Nick, or you'll talk to my brother, Brian. And uh, we do personal intake calls for every member. And uh, we'd love to have you inside. Hope you enjoyed this training. If you do, feel free to share it. Make sure you like my page. Give me a comment below, whatever things like, woo! All right, appreciate you.